Captain's Log, Stardate 00811.9. As the ship goes through routine maintenance courtesy of Mr. Lunashik, I have taken it upon myself to cross-train Cadet Cochran in the finer points of shuttlecraft piloting. A good moment to touch base with the youngest member of the crew as we traverse the asteroid cluster in this sector known as Krom's Belt. Captain, respectfully, I've already been rated for a class for shuttlecraft. And with your reputation, I'm not sure taking the time to drive around a jagged asteroid belt is the best idea, sir. Well, cadet, consider this in the field training. Experience is the most valuable teaching tool that we have. Without experiencing the unpredictable, how would we be able to meet the moment? You fully warned me about this. Commander Azani warned you about what? Your penchant for unnecessary risks. <laughs> especially when it comes to shuttlecrafts. <laughs> well, I would argue that every day on mission is a risk, but unnecessary? Hardly. You stay focused and let me tell you a story about a good friend of mine and a whole lot of risk. Aye, sir. Look, relax. Stay focused. I'll try not to make it too boring. This story happened back when I was on the Delia Webster. How? How did you manage any of this amount of buildup on the coupling? It's only been on mission 18 months. Practice. She was running fine last I checked. <laughs> Hurry up, will ya? Lieutenant, I want to see if those Norian pods are still in season. I'll be damned if Morales has taken my share. Should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, we're good to go. Now, if you perform basic maintenance half as often as you work out, wouldn't have anywhere near this amount of buildup. Well, then what would you do all day? Relax. Not clean up after Commander Hawkins' joyride residue. Well, buddy. I got bad news. No. No, 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 no. I'm driving. Greetings, Starfleet. The captain told me of your arrival. Yeah, lovely. Pads this way? Yes. <laughs> I apologize for the lieutenant. His glibness. Ambassador, he's uh, the best. Mm. With technology. Hey, you haven't happened to see uh, Lieutenant Morales around, have you? Uh, last time I saw him, he was by your pod fields near your beaming pad. He was concerned about their cleanliness, whether to move them on their own or not, and he said he would contact the captain. Well, let's see where he is. Lieutenant Morales, do you copy? Note, semi-viscous substance on the pads. Source unknown. Mild skin irritant. Shouldn't have touched that. Might be what's causing the equipment breakdown. Lieutenant Morales, this is Commander Hawkins. Do you copy? Lieutenant Morales, we are topside. Do you copy? Over. <laughs> Morales, uh, where the hell are you? Hawk, we have to get Morales out of here now. Cheslaw to Webster, prep sickbay. Morales is gravely injured. What the hell is happening? I don't know. It's Morales. We have to get them to the Webster. 
Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go now. No shit. Let's go! Come on! Leave it! Hey! We just lost a comrade. Is there something about the environment that maybe we should know about? Something in the air, perhaps? Something in the pod? Something acidic? I'm sorry, Commander. There's nothing that comes to mind. We'll preserve the scene for your fallen comrades. There's nothing malicious or toxic right now. Oh, come on. Hawk? We are being eaten. Some kind of indigenous insect. Cascadi? My goodness. I... They only bothered the animals. I didn't think they would be a problem to the Federation. Pescadai. They're pests. They bother the livestock. They're small and they swarm like a cloud. Swell. Hawk, we need you to get on the communicator. Tell the captain to ready quarantine conditions. I'm being eaten alive and try not to panic. Hawkins to Webster, inform transport crew that we need full quarantine and decontamination. Cheslaw is going to need immediate transport when he is within range. Inform the shuttle bay to stay wide open. I'm flying this thing in. Hawk out. I I'm so sorry, Commander. I, I surely hope this doesn't ruin our relationship with the Federation. You're flying this thing in. We're decomposing as we speak. The hull of the Taplana Hoth is deteriorating at a rate we can't predict. I'm getting you within range and I'm taking this thing home. We already lost Morales in this. I'm not losing the shuttle coop too, not for nothing. Damn the coop, Hawk! There are other shuttles! One's not covered in carnivorous mites! This is what I get. I'm not letting you drive. Stupid pods. Macho. Bullshit. Jess, keep talking. Jess. Come on, baby. Just a little further. Do this. It's nice, nice. Itchy but nice. This will have to do. Coop's gone, Hawk. We need you here. <laughs> I own the Delia new shuttle coop. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You never did get the shuttle coop back. So you didn't crash it. Hmm? It got digested. Correct. And that was on a Centaur class diplomatic ship? Hmm. Yeah. Look, so much in Starfleet relies on proximity. But I had good people with me, and with that, you can accomplish anything. That just sounds... chaotic. Welcome to it. Well, that story was pretty good. Cute. Although, I was concerned... It was going to be about how you crashed a shuttlecraft to rescue a damsel in distress. <clears throat> not, not this time. Respectfully, sir. Ew. And that is so antiquated. Uh, hey, look. There's park right there. And, uh, good job, cadet.
Ah, invigorating, isn't it? Feel like a new man. Just like Academy days, right? Why are we friends? 